It's 21 years since Antrim beat Offaly to book a place in an All-Ireland decider. Most of these men wouldn't have even remembered it. But like the men of 89, they too had been written off before the throw-in. Today's prize, a place in the Leinster semi against Galway. And they came flying out of the traps. Neil McManus' goal helped them to a five-point lead within four minutes. It sparked Joe Dooley's side into life and they took a firm grip in proceedings with nine unanswered scores. The pick of them, this goal from Joe's son, Shane. Five points to the good, you'd expect the Midlanders to kick on. But it was the young Ulsterman who blitzed their opponents late in the half. There was an element of luck about this goal. Joe Scullion hit the post, but then Paul Cleary turned the slither into his own net. There was no doubts about this goal. Carl McKeegan latched onto the long ball from Carl Stewart and he buried it to give the side a three-point lead at the break. They pushed on in the second half. Neil McCauley stretched the lead with this wonderful individual effort from the halfway line. The awfully fight back just wasn't coming and then a big setback. They were reduced to 14 men. Derek Malloy sent off for a second yellow. It spurred them on as Antrim sat back on their four-point lead. Shane Dooley was almost pulling them back into the contest single-handedly. But Kevin Brady chipped in two with this point. Antrim led by a point going into the closing stages and Scullion should have sealed their passage. James Dempsey, though, denied them a certain goal. It was a moment of controversy. Just moments later, the three minutes of additional time were up when Antrim conceded this sloppy free. It presented young Shane Dooley with a chance to save their blushes. He shrugged off the pressure and drilled it between the posts. The moment caused a lot of debate on the sideline at the final whistle. Extra time then, and there would be no repeat of 89. Offaly's superior fitness began to tell, and Gary Hanafy's goal ended Antrim's Leinster Championship. They ran out 226 to 316 winners. We felt that we should have won the game or could have won the game. But when I went to extra time, I don't think we had the legs really to stay up, stay with Offaly lads. But fair credit uh, due to Offaly long, they persisted with the, with the game and their game plan, and maybe they deserved to win it then. In fairness to the lads, you know they showed great character to get back into it, and you know that la the, the last three to level it in was a real pressure puck because it was the last puck of the game, you know. So that's your son Shane who stood over that one. A yeah. difficult moment for such a young man. Yeah, it was indeed our age. Yeah, it just closed my eyes and hoped for the best and. Uh, it's fair play to him, he put it over, you know, it was a real pressure free, so kept us in the championship really, you know.